Well, we're at the Morton Arboretum. Well, this is tree biomechanics research. Trees are moving constantly in the wind, and the whole objective is to understand really when trees are safe. My friend uh, Mark Hanigman, who's been doing tree work for me for years, he talked about some of the difficulties they were having in trying to make measurements, displacement measurements on trees. And I said, hey, if you give me a can of white paint and a can of black paint, I can come out and I can show you how to do it. We can measure the deformation of the whole tree all at once. We put a black and white speckle pattern on these trees and that speckle pattern gets tracked by sets of stereo cameras. The fancy term is uh, stereo photogrammetry that uh, means we're using 3D images of things to, uh, in this case, trees to track the movement of that tree is it responds to forces of wind or in this case our simulated wind by cabling the tree and pulling on the cable. Those cameras look at the same point of interest and in this case we're looking at trees and roots. In looking at those things from two different points of view we're able to do software calculations of the actual deformation that's going on and from that we can calculate stress and strain that the trees or the roots are undergoing. We're employing some technology on trees for the first time. And this technology has been used in a lot of other things. Specifically, it was developed with NASA for the space shuttle program to look at the deformation of the surfaces of the space shuttle if it gets hit by an object, which did cause a serious problem for it. Obviously, this experiment is destructive of trees, but we were able to choose ash trees for the study, and they're going to be gone soon anyway, so we're really not harming good, useful trees. What's really interesting is the fact that this has never been done on trees before. I mean, it's groundbreaking research in the fact that, you know, nobody really understands how the, the full tree deforms under this kind of loading. They want to understand how trees fail, what makes them fail, and what we can do to make them stronger. This is part of helping to understand when trees are, are safe and sound and when trees may, may be a hazard and need to be either removed or in some case, uh, you know, braced or reinforced.